with the area's certified, most accurate forecast six years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Well, after you watch this forecast, I would recommend getting outside while you can because these temperatures in the 60s and 70s now will give way to probably a good healthy round of snow Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Right now, let's look outside at a beautiful view right now in Appleton on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera. 70 degrees, a mix of sun and clouds, dry roads right now on College Avenue. Lots of sunshine. The 68 in Green Bay as we look towards the north. Notice those clouds starting to increase from the north and west. Some of those clouds bring some showers and thunderstorms to the area just to our north and west as well. Right now, it looks like Washington Island, the coolest spot on the map, 44 degrees. But look at this, 70s across much of the southwestern portion of the viewing area. And there is some cooler air off to the north and west. That will move in by Wednesday and Thursday, especially as this cold front moves through later on this evening. Average high for today is 50. We'll be back into the lower 50s for many of us on Tuesday with some breezy north winds. And then colder as the storm system approaches Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. And then we make a climb back into the 50s and maybe even around 60 for a few spots by around this time next week. All right, so satellite radar showing still a lot of sunshine for many of us from about Okano and areas further to the south. But showers and even a few thunderstorms are moving in just to our north and west. Let's zoom in here as we head towards Elaine Lake County, Menominee and Shawano County. Some heavier rain from around uh, Athelstane back towards uh, Lakewood Mountain, Lane Lake and Anago, uh, Neopit as well. Looking at some light to at times moderate rainfall, maybe a few downpours into northern Menominee County with a few lightning strikes as well. None of these storms are severe. They're not expected to be, but if you hear that thunder, good idea to get inside. We have a couple more showers and storms across the Arrowhead of Minnesota. As this weak little system passes through, we'll have that chance for some showers and storms this evening and then some quieter weather arrives as we head through the rest of the overnight. Here's our next storm system, still across the eastern Pacific, but it is bringing rain and snow across the west coast. And this will continue to make its way on shore tonight into tomorrow and make its way further off to the east towards the state of Wisconsin Wednesday, Thursday and eventually into the day on Friday as well. So in the short term, the so zone front is moving through right now, gives us a chance for showers and storms. I'd say a lot of this will start to wrap up by about 10 or 11 o'clock, but still future cast hinting at maybe a couple of lingering uh, rain showers, even into the early morning hours on Tuesday. By 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, things are fairly quiet. We could see a little sunshine to start the day, and then these north winds will produce some clouds off of Lake Superior, and within a few of those clouds, a couple of rain showers or a flurry, certainly not out of the question, and they'll be watching late Wednesday. Here is one model, the European model. By the evening overnight on Wednesday, we could be looking at already some snow showers. Snow continues into the day on Thursday with a wintry mix or rain further off to the south as the strong storm system moves in from the south and west. Depending on that track, we could see potentially a mix of rain and snow Thursday night into Friday before it all starts to wrap up as snow. But again, late Wednesday into the afternoon hours on Friday. The timing for this system We'll be watching the track very closely because that will play a large role in where that heaviest snow sets up. So your forecast for tonight calls for a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder this evening with temperatures in the upper 30s to around 40. Near 54 tomorrow, a couple sprinkles or a flurry possible. Your seven-day planner has that snow arriving late Wednesday. Potentially heavy snow on Thursday, wrapping up as still some snow showers on Friday and then a little bit warmer as we head towards the weekend. Morning your forecast. You can find it on our Facebook page. Give us a like, WFRV Local 5. All right, we thank you, Chad, and we're back right after this. Stick with us.